We have repeatedly asked for the cost of the structure that was built on Union Square. There is a paper trail that shows that we have been asking for those numbers for over a year. Lo and behold, a few days before the referendum vote, I was informed that the information was available in this very building. And so I released the fact that I had been told that those numbers were available to my associates with the CEG. A friend and a fellow member of the CEG. Thank you. May I continue? Thank you. A friend and a fellow member of the CEG went to City Hall and got a Hickory Incorporated well-crafted runaround, in my opinion. And fortunately, due to my personal diligence, I know what happened that day. And my associates and I are very disappointed in how some, not all, of our public servants represented the public that day. But we should have known better from the start. The document dump provided that day seems to have been just a political ploy aimed towards the Hickory Daily Record, I don't know where they are, now, to send the message out that Hickory Incorporated had cooperated fully with the CEG. So what was all the fuss about? This was a little political gambit meant to sway the public's opinion a few days before an election. Isn't it ironic that you are here tonight to receive an accounting award when the budget implementation and accounting involving this project on Union Square would never pass an audit. Rebecca Englefield takes the law more seriously than anyone I know. What happened that day truly does, does bother her. She was writing down questions asking for public information as sanctioned by North Carolina General Statute 132 when she was arrested. Arrested while asking for information that she was entitled to. Arrested for information that has not been provided to us to this day. One of the questions is, what was the cost of the fabric used for the sales on the square project? Mr. Mayor, at the last council meeting, you said this information would be provided if it were separately available. Are you telling me that we can't find out the company that imp from the company that implemented the construction of this project, the cost per yard of this material, and the square yardage used to build this project? We can do the math. If you are telling me that there was such a lack of oversight on this project, then I am truly embarrassed. You all are entrusted with a fiduciary responsibility to operate fully on the public's behalf, whether most of the public chooses to willfully be ignorant or not. I really could care less about the Chattanooga Way. It seems to me that the Chattanooga Way equals hot water. I am sure that you know that the Six minutes. May I continue, please? Are you, are you getting I'm wrapping up. This is, I am sure that you know that the CEG doesn't like the entire process surrounding this structure, but the structure has been built. The structure belongs to the public. The dollars belong to the public. And the information belongs to the public. So let's <coughs> move forward. I am sure that Alderman Lell remembers an incident the last few days of ninth grade when a group of us got sent to the principal's office because we were actually looking out for the interests of one of our teacher's safety, only to find ourselves to be the ones in trouble. The only mistake that Rebecca Englefield made that day is one I have always understood. Sometimes you have to step back and live to fight another day. Today is another day, and tomorrow will be another day. Thank you. Next, Mr. James Davis, who is listed no address or possible.